Let's see if I can tell you all about Foros Contraction Waveform within about five minutes. Check it out. So first of all, Foros. Here we go. All that four OSC is basically is it's four oscillators and each oscillator makes a sound. So if we turn off all oscillators and let's get a new basic one open. Let's add four, four OSC. And there it is, four OSC. I love this browser so fast. Four OSC. So there we go, oscillator one and two. So there's a sign in one, none and two. Three and four is there, none and none. So what we're dealing with is one sine wave oscillator at the moment. That's all it is, right? So a sine wave. Simple. Tuning. Double click, it gets it back to where it should be. Fine tuning. Likewise, double click. Unison. Um, it adds these detune and spread. So it makes this sort of strange sound happen. That's interference patterns from things being slightly out of tune with each other which is a deliberate thing that people do. So you've got four oscillators, but in theory, you've got eight in each one. And you can spread them. So that spreads it into the two different ears. Detune them. So let's just go single again. You can pan them. You can change the volume of each one. So if we add another one here, we can add Add another sine wave first. So that's the same as the other one, so it's just boosting that. Now if we were to detune this, it does the same interference pattern as when we had unison in the first one. So you can choose to do it either way. Now you could also change to a different type of wave. Let's do a square wave. Let's do the tuning down 12. Nice, right? Uh, 24. Nice. Let's make that one minus 12, and make it a, mm, it's a bit filthy, anyway, whatever, let's turn this one off again, let's work on a single one for now, you can basically build up a sound by adding ones to each other, now the next line here, this is the filter section, so it's off at the moment, you get LP, that's a low pass, so if we make this into a, Square wave. Oh yeah, there's a pulse width as well. And what it basically is, is a, a wave that goes up and down like that. The upper side and the down side, one would get bigger while the other gets smaller. That's the pulse width. But it makes a cool sound. Now, so low pass frequency. Basically changes the frequency. Um, not hearing much on that at the moment. High pass frequency. So that that takes off all the low end. Or as much of it as you choose. Band pass. So that'll be a, a very specific band, like a frequency band going upwards. And a notch is the opposite of that, where it's a frequency band going downwards. There's a resonance there, there's a slope, key tracking, velocity will um, change the amount that it moves up by how much the velocity is. You can change all of these, you can either grab them like this and pull them, and you see those moving as you do, or you can grab these and you see those moving as you do. So that's that, that's the that section. Next thing is this bit down here. So at the moment you've got how quickly things go up and down, you've got ADSR, so attack, which is basically how, how quickly the note attacks. You've got decay. Let's pull them all down for now. Decay. Sustain is how loud it's going to be as you keep your finger on the key. And release is how long it's going to take after you release the key. So that's up there all the way. Whereas bring it down a bit. And it's on off. So you can get all kinds of interesting sounds with that. And now these ones, these you can assign to all the other things. So you notice that little thing isn't there in that main one, because that does everything. That's the whole thing, the sound of everything. This one here is another envelope that you can assign to different stuff. So if we press this little button here, and we can assign it to tuning, you'll hear it, but it won't sound very nice. Oh, well, that's not bad, actually. So we could go up. Uh... That brings it up an octave. Right? We can do a different attack. 
the thing is, once that's engaged, that will even change the things that are in here. So that's slowing it down. If we go this way, it'll go faster. So that's uh, interesting. That's quite complex. I right click it and you can remove that envelope from there if you make a mistake. Click that off and then we can... so That's kind of interesting. You can do cool stuff with that. And you can affect any of these things up here with any of those. Next, there's another one, separate envelope, that you can do all the same stuff with, but with a different envelope. And here's an LFO. Let's do this one on the, on the pulse width, maybe. So let's see here. Pull that. And it's going to go equal amount each side of where the pointer is at. If you pull it downwards, it's going to go downwards first and then up. And if you push it upwards, it goes upwards first. You could have it affecting pan or anything else either. Um, let's have it affect the fine tuning. Weird sound, right? You can change the rate. Change the depth. You can have it affect parts of the filter. So let's do something like... Uh, and another one here. So let's add a different type of wave, like a square wave. So add this one. So I've got two different things going on on the same knob. So you see that frequency it jumps up and down. And whoa, 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 whoa. Figaro, Figaro. Lastly, you've got a whole list of them all the way down along of all the all the various things. You've got also you've got distortion, chorus, delay, reverb, and global. So that's cool to have all of that in the one package. And there's all these presets, so you can get loads. You see where those yellow things, orange, where those orange things are, that's showing you that there's something being affected by something. So you, sh you could go through these presets and see how the guy's attraction have made the presets as well. There's some lovely presets in there. You, you don't even have to make your own. Brilliant. If you'd like more videos like this, just hit like, let me know. That's all. Enjoy.